If you want more from your eBay store, watch till the end. We all love eBay sales, but we could always do with a few more. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about eBay hacks that you can use to make more sales. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. More about that later in the video. Right, let's get the obvious ones out of the way first. Listing daily. If you want your eBay algorithm to like you and to push your listings up the scale, try and list every day. Whether it be 10 listings, 20 listings, two, or even one a day. Please, please, please try and get some daily active listings going up on your store. The eBay algorithm loves activity. So as well as doing your daily listings, make sure that you're replying to all your messages, you're responding to all your offers, you're sending out offers, make sure you counter offer instead of rejecting offers little things like that will increase your ebay sales when it comes to your listing you want to have strong titles with lots and lots of good keywords there'll be certain listings that have a great product but they're not selling just because of the title one word might change your whole listing so make sure you're taking your time picking the right words go on sold listings and see what keywords are selling you know what i mean that make sure you don't miss out those keywords get those strong strong titles as well as that you want to have great photos on your listing so make sure you frame it well i use the square mode and it fits perfectly on ebay that's with iphone you want to have a white background or you know a structured background where there's you know not loads of mess in the back you want to make sure that you're using as many photos as you can so it could be 24 i think up to 24 photos use them all get let the buyer see everything with your product that gives the buyer confidence they've seen all possible angles of this product that they want to buy i use ebay's promoted listings feature i currently use the standard version there is advanced promoted listings i can't comment on that but currently i promote everything at two percent you can promote at 50 percent if you want but then you'd lose 50 percent of your money two percent seems to work for me that's the minimum you can do and i've always done that so yeah worth a try for yourself i'll be back after this so me and Shah are back from holiday our hello fresh order has arrived which is super easy we don't want it like literally we're so tired after going on holiday so you know it's a blessing in disguise we don't want to go to the supermarkets it's literally all delivered to our door so today we're going to be cooking the all-american bacon cheeseburger which is number 35 so we're going to match that up to number 35 which is there so that's everything we need in there and we've already pulled out our meats that we're going to use. So we've got beef mince, and we've got some bacon. And can I just say, there's no grizzly bits. There's no blood pool around it. It is fresh. That is fresh. Obviously, they flat out. pack. Yeah. They flat pack that. Vacuum pack, should I say. But it, it looks nice. Very nice. Um, so yeah, it's a craft burger. It takes 35 minutes to cook. Literally, everything you need to know is on front and back. Literally tells you how to cook it. It's got all the grams, all the macros, nutrition, allergies, etc., etc. Also in the same box, we have got the honey spice roasted chicken, which is number 45. That is the paper bag there. Again, it's got everything you need to know on there. So if you're not a great cook or you want to learn to cook, it's literally a real nice tool to have. And then we've also got the sirloin steak, which looks amazing. Look at that, they have chips as well. So what makes it so easy is you put the bags in the fridge and then all you've got to do when you pull out your recipe card for the evening is just pull out the bag with the number on. Yeah, so dead easy. You haven't even got to think. <laughs> also in the box, we have got some desserts, which is milk chocolate ganache by Goo. So good. Very nice. It works out at £3.15 a portion um, and that's before any discounts. And we have got discounts for you guys today. But we're gonna get cooking show you the finished products, this one, and then we'll let you know. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 It's looking good. So easy today. I'm doing double decker burgers. Yeah, that's how we like that's it. That's how we like it. So we got our burger and our macaroni cheese. Code John Luke 60 will be on screen here for 60% off your first box yep. and 20% off your next two boxes after that. Plus free gifts. Free gifts as well. So get yourself involved. Let me know what you get and how you get on with it. Make your life easier. Make your life easier, but so, so yummy. We're gonna tuck in now. Back to the video. So this next trick, I sound like Dynamo, don't I? Um, it's not a trick, but I've been using this over the last few months is sending out newsletters. So you can send newsletters out to previous buyers and followers of your store. So for example, I can send out a newsletter, say happy new year everyone, hope you're all doing well. Thank, thanks for your business in 2023. 
Here is a coupon code, John Luke 20 for 20% off my store, store-wide. Um, it's active this weekend. And that'll drop straight into their emails. That could be 3,000 people getting an email saying, bang, there's a, there's a sale on, and they're going to go up to my store, and they're hopefully going to spend some money. And I've found some real success in this. So definitely worth a try, sending out lose, newsletters. And that links in with actually launching coupon codes. So this could be a coupon that you run all year round. It could be a coupon that you're doing in Q4. It could be a coupon where you're doing, you know, just a two-week sale, whatever, 10% off everything. And I find it really, really useful to run, run coupons first and foremost, but to send them out in the newsletters as well. So yeah, definitely worth a try. This next one may be a bit obvious to a lot of my subscribers, but switch on international shipping. There is millions and millions and millions of people who use eBay that aren't in the UK. So in theory, that's millions of buyers that can't buy from you. You're missing out. You're missing out on a lot of people that potentially could be buying something from you. Now, you can offer your own international shipping, which is great, but you can use the global shipping program as well, which is amazing. Um, all you do is ship it to a UK address and eBay take care of the rest. They, they fulfill it for you, pretty much. You buy Royal Mail, British Post, £3 to eBay, and on it goes. If anything goes wrong after that, it's on eBay. So, honestly, the global shipping program is worth its weight in gold. I get a good percentage of my sales will be going abroad, USA, Mexico, Brazil, wherever, wherever, totally random, Brazil. Um, switch on global shipping because it doesn't cost you anything else and it opens you up to millions and millions of potential buyers. So it's a no brainer. The main theme of this video is use all of the features that eBay give you. They want you to use those features because they like you to use them. The algorithm loves you using all the features. It could be multi-buy, it could be sending offers out, make put best offer on some of your listings, use the global shipping program. There's so many things that are on there to use. A lot of tools that don't get touched, but if you do use them, use them correctly, they can really, really create some buzz around your store and increase your sales. The one big one for me, I'm gonna end on this, is ending your listings and sell similar. Now, I did this a couple of weeks ago. It was quite dry. Maybe it was dry. January, February time. It's pretty dry anyway, let's be honest. Um, apart from the rain outside. I had a t I had 200 listings. Quite embarrassing. Really. I had 200 listings that didn't have any watches at all. Zero, li zero watches on 200 listings, which, you know, is a good chunk of my store. Took them down. So, took 200 listings down. Then I can sell similar at the same time. All 200. Boo, sell similar. Com creates a big list. I can tweak titles, tweak prices. A day later, I had 20, 20 odd sales. Um, a good chunk were from those same listings that had zero watches two days before. So selling similar, you know, there's something about selling similar that just works. You know, you could sell, end it, and relist it. I don't, I don't know the the logistics. I don't know the the technology behind it. Why it works. Um, but yeah, if, the, if you've got dead listings, get them down, sell similar, tweak them up and get them back up and you'll be surprised, um, especially when you do it in bulk. Like sometimes I do my full store, so I'll take 500 listings down, tweak them, change the prices a little bit, get them back up and my store explodes. So yeah, sell similar is a big one, big one. Of course, my regular subscribers will probably know most of this, but for you guys that don't, I hope this video did help. If it did, leave a like. Leave any comments down below, any questions, and subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.